happening? What's happening, world? It's your man, Locked Dog, coming to you live and direct on a hot and sticky Tuesday morning on the mean streets of Texas, man. What's been going down, man? I know I've been away from the report game for a couple of weeks, but um, that's, that mean I haven't been on the jizzop. As you guys know, the NBA playoffs are now in full effect. After two games, we're split. One game apiece. And I guess you got to say that out of the three teams that are actually in the finals, the Celtics, the Lakers, and the NBA refs, it's 1-1 uh, for the teams the Celtics and the Lakers, and 2-0 for the reps. Um, many Celtics fans were upset with the officiating after game one, and then after game two, woo! To say the Laker fans were hot, man, oh man, oh man. Even with the advent of the small sliver of replay, the refs still got the call wrong, and handed the ball over to the Celtics in the tightest, tightest point of game two. And what had happened, the Celtics came through and stole home court advantage. Now, heading up to Beantown tonight. Quick turnaround, game three zone. Hey, if you know your finals history, it's the game three winner, baby. So come on, LA, what happened? The Bigs got into foul trouble, and none of you jump shooters could compete. Ray Allen had all of the heat, and then some going 8 for 11 from 3. Oh, MGs. And at one point, this guy was 7 for 7 from 3. Now, that is a wreck in itself. And um, he wasn't to be outdone. The man Rondo came in, messed around and got a triple-double. And um, the rest of the bigs for the Celtics, they also saw foul trouble, but they had enough juice in the tizank to help solidify the win and, like I say, take home court advantage from the Lakers. So what are you going to see? Which Laker team is going to show up? Are the Boston Celtics really ready to uh, take command of the finals? and put this thing in their back pocket because the next three games if the uh well it's gonna be at least five games the next three are gonna be in boston and who knows if the lakers stub their toe tonight and um they get an injury or something they may not make it back to the staples center so we're just gonna have to t -t tune in we're gonna have to see if you if the lakers can bring that big rebounding edge, that big shot making edge, uh, that big post and paint position edge that they have to Boston. See if they can put it to good use and take back the home court advantage in this year's playoffs. I still think that it's ultimately, ultimately going to go to seven games and the Lakers will prevail. But tune in game. Alright? Take care of yourself. Don't hurt nobody else. It's been your man Light Dog out. Peace.